In a quiet corner of Coventry, there's a piece of history that's not just hidden away, it's hidden beneath centuries of architectural abuse. In its unloved rooms, there are clues that this began as a 14th century monastery, one of only nine of its kind. The refectory where the monks ate, plastered over. The wall paintings they created, broken up and used as bricks. So here's the real treasure of this building. Um, this crucifixion scene dating back to uh, around 1410. Now, after a grant from the Heritage Lottery Fund, the parts that have survived can be restored. There were 800 monasteries in, the, in this country, about 10, 11, 12 Carthusians. And this building we're in, it has actually survived as a, as a recognisable monastery building. That's despite the best efforts of the Tudors, who turned it into a house when Henry VIII dissolved the monasteries, destroying much of it, including the church and the cells where the monks lived. Today, this is what's left of those rooms where a monk would live in complete silence and solitude. The plan now is to uncover all of this, to even recreate one of these cells so people can discover the simple life they led. But it also honours a promise made by a local businessman, Sir William Wiley, who bequeathed the site to the people nearly 80 years ago. It will now open its doors just as Coventry prepares to be city of culture in three years' time. Coventry was a very wealthy, important city in medieval times and we've lost a lot of it uh, because of bombing during the war. Places like this are still standing and um, hidden, hidden from view to a lot of the public for a long time, so it's great to open it up. What people will find is a building whose occupants made their marks. Some might be considered vandalism, but who ultimately preserved an historical treasure, even if they didn't know it at the time. Ben Chapman, News at 10, Coventry.